Shalom, Apostle Star coming back at you once again, giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Al Shai by Shem And I'm going to entitle this uh, video Riots and Uproars Shall Come to America Soon. Anyway, I'm not going to make this long. I'm going to read a little here and there. You see the picture or the, 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 the still up here on the screen. It says, this is breaking news <clears throat> as of today it says g to freeze ge meaning general electric to freeze pensions in in bid to cut debt by up to eight eight billion ge to freeze pensions to bid to in bid to cut debt by up to eight billion dollars about twenty thousand united states employees which salary benefit salary benefits will be affected as General Electric makes another move to shore up for its finances. Okay, and by the way, let me let me put this individual up if I can find him. Uh, okay, this individual right here, um, his page, his YouTube page is Jerome Jerome Jerome. Jeremiah Babe um, That's the name of his YouTube page <clears throat> And I've been listening to him For a couple of weeks or, um, Already And uh, he's kind of in that Group with uh, Gerald Salenti um, uh, Jeff uh, Burak Of uh was was the name of his uh, page? Um, I forget the name of his page. It'll come back to me. Um, World Alternative Media. Luke Radowski, which is we we are change. Um. Oh, dollar dollar vigil dollar vi vigilante. Or the dollar vigilante. That's uh, this this guy, uh, uh, Jeff Burak. If I'm saying his last name correctly, he goes into a, for a, lot, a lot of financial uh, stuff. Um, also, uh, Mark Farber is another one. A uh, Mike or uh, Michael Maloney. He goes into silver and gold. Anyway, these guys. You know they 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 go into the economy and how it's basically falling, and um, this video was put up yesterday, and uh, and um, so so this led me to go to Google and put in GN, GM or GE excuse me GE freezes pension. His, the name of his video is, is uh, GE freezes pensions. U.S. state will U.S. states will collapse. Car loan surge. U.S. China trade uh, doubts. Okay, so now let me go back over here. And I read this GE to cut 20,000 20, United States employees. And you see the pictures there. Um, I'm going to read a couple of headlines Top stories as of today USA Today uh, For reasons the corporate pension Is on its deathbed um, GE freezes pensions For 20,000 employees That's uh, market watch GE to freeze pensions For 20,000 workers The Wall Street Journal So it says the same thing, G to freeze uh, pensions. Let me look up the word pension. We already should know what that means, but I'm going to look it up. The definition of the word pension. Employee-based pensions. A retirement plan is an 
arrangement to provide people with an income during retirement when they are no longer earning a steady income from employment. Let me read another. It says, a pension is a fund into which a sum of money is added during an employee's employment, meaning there's money put to the side. You know, you have uh, what's called a four, four, what is it, 401k, where you put money to the side and then your, your employer is supposed to match that for your retirement. Well, anyway, before that came on the scene, before that was being talked about, um, you worked at a particular job, let's say GM, GMC. There was money put to the side for you, so when you retired, you still got, you, you kept getting checks. And that was uh, the, the thing back there. You got a good job, and they'll tell you with this job, you get medical benefits, you get dental benefits, you get uh, va vacation, you get two weeks off where they paid vacation, meaning you go on vacation and they pay you like you was working. You get an X amount of sick days, personal days. These are all your benefits. And um, pension is one of your benefits. It says a pension is a fund into which a sum of money is added during an employee's employment years, employment years, and from which payments are drawn to support the the pension, the person's retirement from work in the form of periodic payments. Now you might get paid once a month. You know, you're going to get a little less than what you're making, but you're going to get close to that, depending on what type of job you work at. So, you know, there you have it. There you have it. Now, let me close with a with a scripture. This is a second Ezra nine, verses one to four. It said, "He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself.' And that's what we're doing. We, when we go out there prophesying." We're measuring the time. We're watching the, uh, you know, before a prophet was called a prophet, he was also called a seer. <clears throat> and a seer, and I believe the word seer goes back to ra'ah, uh, which means uh, to see. So what does a prophet see? See, he sees something that's going to happen before it happens, so he tells the people. So a seer does the same thing. We're watchmen. We're supposed to watch what's going on, and we're supposed to tell our people, the Israelites, ultimately the elect. Anyway, it says, uh, Second Ezra, Second Ezra uh, 9, verse 1, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, signs meaning signs, tokens, uh, prophecies, which I have uh, told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest, the most high, will begin to visit that world which he made. And, he, and he's visiting the world right, world right now. That's why you see a lot of UFO sightings. Uh, there, therefore, the fact that, the, that you have brothers on the corners, on the highways and the byways, and not just GMS, but other Israelite groups out there that came out of One West or stemmed from One West, they're out there for a reason. That's a fulfillment of prophecy. I said, therefore, when there shall be earthquakes and uproars of the people, uproars means uh, protests, riots, skirmishes, skirmishes, and that's been going on all pretty much around the world at these major places around the world, but it's going to come here to the Americas. Um, it says... Uh, and uproars of the people in the world Then shalt thou Well understand That the most high spake of those things From the days that were Before thee Even from the beginning Anyway with that I'm going to say Shalom And it's on to the next one The prophecy is coming to pass man What manner As a matter of fact you know what Let me, let me, let me go to one more scripture Let me go. One more scripture just came to mind. And that's 2 Peter. 
second P3. And I'll start at 10. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing, 11 verse, seeing then that all these things shall, shall be dissolved. Uh, what manner of persons ought ye to be in ho all holy converse, conversation and godliness? Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord. Uh, where is, so this is another reason to rejoice. These uh, pension cuts wherein the heavens shall where the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom and it's on to the next one. Shalom.